There are many symptoms that you get when you come off coffee, but by far and the worst of these are the headaches. And these headaches can be very severe. But why is this? Coming up. Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen Hume. I'm a chiropractor based in Reading. And today I'm going to be talking again about coffee, but this time the effects, the symptoms that we get when we actually come off coffee, because I know a lot of you would have experienced this if you've drank coffee for long periods of time and then you suddenly come off it. The number one complaint are headaches, but other complaints or the symptoms that you may get will be tiredness, drowsiness, dizziness, brain fog, amongst many others. But by far the worst of these are the headaches. And so I'm going to explain in this video why it is that you get these headaches and make sure you stick to the end because I'm going to show you how you can avoid these headaches if you want to come off coffee. So as I've mentioned in previous videos, coffee has a number of effects within the body and the way that it keeps us alert, which is the main reason why a lot of us drink coffee as well as the taste, is that it messes with a chemical called adenosine. Adenosine works within the brain by building up for every hour that you're awake and for more adenosine that builds up, the more tired that you feel, which causes you to want to go to sleep at night. Caffeine works by blocking the buildup of, ad of adenosine, which makes you feel less tired and therefore more alert, which is why you get that effect. But it doesn't just do this. It has a number of different effects as well within the body. And one of those is it is a stimulant. It stimulates your sympathetic nervous system. And as I've mentioned previously, this does a number of things within the body, including increasing the heart rate, your blood pressure, your breathing rate. But another thing it does is it constricts your blood vessels. Now you may be thinking, why is this important? How is this related to headaches? Well, this is the exact reason why you get the headaches. One study has showed that drinking just 250 milligrams of caffeine, which is around two or three cups of coffee within the day, can cause up to 27% loss of blood flow to your brain. That is a significant amount. That's over one quarter less of your blood within your brain. If you do this for long periods of time and then suddenly cut the caffeine off, what's going to happen is you, you're then going to get the reverse. And instead of those blood vessels constricting, i.e. narrowing, you're going to get a dilation of those blood vessels. So they're going to open up, which is going to increase the flow of the blood suddenly to your brain. This can happen within 12 to 24 hours of coming off caffeine. And this change is what causes the headaches and this is a very similar mechanism to why we get migraines. Migraines happen when you get this dilation within the blood vessels. It's a bit more complex than that, but that is one of the mechanisms of why we think you get pain when you get migraines. So when you come off coffee, you get a similar type of mechanism and that's why it can feel so bad. Now, the question is, how can we avoid this or how can we reduce this if we are addicted to coffee, if we are taking a lot of coffee each day and we want to come off it, how can we reduce this? Now, just before I go through these, if you are new here, then please do consider subscribing for new videos like this one twice a week. I'm passionate about helping people to optimize their health and living pain-free lives. Now, how can you avoid these headaches? Well, the first thing to do is if you want to come off coffee, it's to do it really slowly. So I would suggest reducing your coffee intake about 10% every two weeks. And within the several months, you should be able to come off it completely with very little to no side effects. And you should be able to avoid these headaches. The problems occur when we go suddenly off coffee. So it needs to be a gradual process. Another thing you can do if you want to do this a little bit quicker is that you can come either completely off coffee or reduce it a significant amount and then supplement the caffeine with a type of tea. Usually black tea will probably be the best, which has around half the amount of caffeine as coffee, but in a slightly different form. So if you want to come off coffee quickly, you can drink this tea. Earl Grey tea can be a good one to go on. Otherwise, just normal black tea. And then over time, you can then come completely off coffee stay on the tea and then maybe slowly reduce that tea if you want to come off that. But of course, you don't necessarily have to come off it completely. If you've seen my previous videos, I'll go through why it's so beneficial for the body, but within moderation. So I would make sure that you're drinking no more than one to two cups within the day. And if you're drinking more, then I'll suggest slowly coming down a little bit because the problem is, is a lot of people think that we need to drink coffee to get ourselves so we're alert in the morning. But the problem is, is if you're addicted to coffee, 
you're actually only getting yourself to the level that you would have been if you weren't drinking coffee. So this actually puts you at a disadvantage. So if you want to use coffee to make you more alert, you need to A, be drinking it at a low dose and B, make sure that you're not drinking every single day. So I would suggest taking one or two days off drinking coffee within the week so that you can clear your system out on a regular basis, which means in the coffee, when you do drink it, is actually gonna be more effective. So I hope you found this video interesting. Please do like the video if you found some value from it, but otherwise I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.